What's going on? We are back with yet another full day eating video for you guys. We're starting with breakfast, obviously. Now, hence, this is 1 p.m. and I'm calling it breakfast. I usually have my first meal between 12 and 4, which means I technically intermittent fast. Not something I believe is an end-all be-all, but it definitely helps for you to actually digest that meal that you had last night. And then you can open up your stomach with something light in the morning. I always recommend something light first, like fruit, etc. And I go through phases where sometimes I'll have smoothies, sometimes I'll have fruit, I'll have an entire watermelon. It just rolls through different phases. And the phase that I'm currently on is every single day I've been having chia seed pudding and oats, okay, overnight oats. I start with the chia seed pudding. Like I said, I like to open up my stomach with something light. It's a vanilla chia seed pudding. It's pretty much just chia seeds and maple syrup, frozen fruit. Vanilla extract, coconut milk. The specific recipe itself isn't the most important part. I do a non-dairy version. There's tons of flavors you can have. Play around with it. I've landed that vanilla has been my favorite. The sweetener is maple syrup. That's kind of the other important thing. Chia seed pudding, straightforward. All right. There's not that many calories in the chia seed pudding. It's probably two to three hundred calories. You can just have that if you want to have a low calorie day. But I'm an athlete. And I also like to gain some muscle. Woo! Yeah, this is that morning no pump, baby. Yeah, I need to put on some mass. So I like to have a lot of calories. Then I go ahead and have my overnight oats. My overnight oats has a cup of oats, three tablespoons of hemp seeds, which is 10 grams of protein, complete protein, and a tablespoon of chia seeds. So, you know, I have chia seeds in both. There's a banana. There's a half a banana in here cut up and sliced. I have peanut butter in here. And then the liquid is actually just like almond milk, peanut butter, frozen fruit, maple syrup. Pretty straightforward. Fill it up, mix it up, let it sit overnight. These are nice because you can pre-make this for the week. And I literally go to my fridge, boom, throw it in a lunchbox, take it with me on the go. Or for days like today, obviously I just open my fridge and it's ready for me. Having a breakfast that is readily available and it's a go-to staple for you. Like I said, I go in through phases, so I will change what I have in a couple weeks and etc. Or a couple months, depending how much I like what I'm having. I went six years having the same smoothie every single morning. So I'm a creature of habit. It's definitely nice to just know what you're having. This is something I recommend. You don't want to be in a pinch and, where, where, where do I go? Pulling McDonald's today, pulling Chick-fil-A today, pulling Burger King today. You don't want to have to be in a pinch for your breakfast. Breakfast and snacks should be something that you have dialed in. And then that dinner is something you can play with. And you'll notice that every single night we have something different for dinner. So that's the exciting part of my day. Breakfast is very straightforward for me. It's a purpose-built breakfast. Yes, it's delicious. This tastes like candy. And they're both sweetened to my liking because I am a sweet tooth. But once again, you can play with the different flavors and styles of what you want. This is a peanut butter and jelly style overnight oats. I forgot to mention, you know, there's, well, I didn't even say what's in this, is the uh, jelly is also in there. Preserves, not jelly, once again. You don't want nasty peanut butter that's not peanut butter, that's peanut spread. Make sure you spend the extra money on quality ingredients. This is regular rolled oats, all right? This isn't some quick oats or anything nasty like that. Regular rolled oats, organic, big, thick oats, actual oats, actual peanut butter where the ingredients say peanuts, salt. It doesn't have a whole list of ingredients. And for the jam, once again, it's not jam jelly. It's technically preserves, which is still has sugar, but you just put a little bit in there. It's cane sugar. Spend the extra couple of dollars so that you have quality ingredients and you can actually enjoy your food and know that it's healthy. All right. The supplements that I will take in the morning, I will put some electrolytes in my water. I drink a lot of water every day. When you drink a lot of water, gallon a day, and you sweat a lot, you're an athlete, or whatever the case might be, it flushes your body out and you actually drain all the minerals out. So you have to put the minerals back in. So whether you use pink Himalaya salt or electrolytes, I just prefer electrolytes. Pink Himalaya salt's great. It just tastes like garbage. So, hey, sometimes you got to live life a little bit. And Thorn is the best supplement place on the planet. 
I do the AM thorns. I do an alpha brain in the morning in something that's not imaged right here because actually it's in the mail. I just ran out yesterday. It is an Irish sea moss from Organics Nature. Okay, so you can search up Organics Nature. Irish sea moss. That's the one that I trust. Don't just get any random sea moss because it's a low quality. I don't trust it. You have to actually get the real stuff that's actually in the sea, not some farm grown stuff. And you'll see a theme. I don't really harp on it as much as I should, but everything is organic. We do spend the extra couple dollars for the organic stuff. You know, if you're paying 39 cents extra, a dollar extra, it is not that much for the health benefits that you get with organic. You don't want to put a bunch of nasty chemicals in your body that's been sprayed just so you can save 39 cents. All right, it's not worth it. If you're on this health and fitness journey, which everybody should be because it's extremely important. You don't want to be at the end of your life and wishing that you, wow, I wish I would have done things differently. No, do it now. I'm 29 years old and I've been doing this since I was a teenager. I was 16, I still look like a teenager because I've been taking care of myself for the long term. People always used to give me help. Oh, you're young now, you're young now. And I'm still young, 29. I have a long life ahead of me, but I am going to take care of myself my entire existence. I've been working out for 12 years consistently. I've been being vegan for eight years consistently. I've been doing Ninja Warrior for seven years consistently. And I am only going to continue to grow. I don't want my timeline to look like this. I don't need to be the most jacked person in the gym at 28. That's not my goal. I don't want to be the most jacked person in the gym when I'm 35. That's not my goal. My goal is a continuous upward trajectory for the rest of my life. I've always joked and said, I'm going to still be shredded at 80 and people think it's a joke and it's not a joke. It is the truth because I've seen it. And if I've seen jacked and shredded 80 year olds, I know when they were my age, they didn't take their health and fitness as serious as I do. So just wait till I'm 80 baby. Cause yeah. So that's pretty straightforward. Boom. Another thing I'm going to touch on really quickly. People are afraid of carbohydrates. I don't understand why. We live in a world where we are overly protein fed with processed proteins. You don't wanna wake up in the morning and have a sausage McMuffin. That is disgusting. Having animal fat the first thing when you wake up is absolutely absurd. It's so bad for you. I don't care what anybody says because the results and the studies prove that it's terrible for you. And just because I can't give up bacon Dude, you don't want to wake up and start your day like that. Like, I can tell that you love bacon. How about that? That's what I'm going to start responding to people. I just can't give up cheese. I can tell you can't give up cheese, dude. Because you're fat as shit. You're miserable. And, yeah, you're uh, happy for the few seconds that you get a dopamine hit from that bacon. But your whole life is shit, okay? It's probably uncomfortable to be in your body. So, thank you for watching this rant. We will see you momentarily for the next meal. All right, for dinner, we're having a lentil chili. It's got red lentils, it's got black beans, corn, crushed tomatoes, jalapenos, avocado, all type of fun in here. I don't need to explain everything that's in there because the link will be in the description for the recipe. We use an Instapot to accomplish this. Highly, highly, highly recommend that you purchase an Instant Pot. It's gonna be your easiest way to make your dinners. You don't have to cook. You can set and forget. Luckily, my wonderful girlfriend does the cooking in the household at night. So we love it, we love it, we love it, but it saves her the hassle when she can do the Instapot nights. Set and forget, we're extremely busy, I'm sure. Everybody out there is busy in their own way. So I say invest in an Instant Pot so that you can eat healthy at night and have some leftovers to fuel your next couple days. I eat like a savage. I'm probably gonna have like 20 bowls of this. We won't have any leftovers after that. But everybody has different goals. So yeah, link in the description for the Instant Pot that we use as well as the recipe. Once again, can't recommend it enough. But until next time, leave a comment, leave a like. We will see you shortly.